Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. On our previous episode, we talked about, or we had guests in the house who were sharing with us their vision for the Association for Actors Guild of Nigeria. And we still have them to carry on the conversation because, like I said, the time was not enough. And we hope that we can touch on some very important parts before we go away again. Um, thank you, Mona Lisa Chenda, for still being here. And thank you, Mika Rolas, for being here. Okay, so before we went on that break, you were telling us what it took to be part of um, the AGN and it was just as if once I decide I want to be an actor, I can't just go and decide to be an actor. And then you mentioned the background screening. I think I'm very particular about that. What does it entail? Yeah, the background screening is about uh, <coughs> normal interview that if you want to get a job, we need to know who you are, what you do. We need to know your talents. There are some people who do not have business in what we're doing. Mm. But because of the glamour mm. of screen, because of the attachment, you know, the screen is larger than life. We just feel that we can do this. And uh, it's very good at that point to redirect them and say, mm. look, you're not good at doing this. Why not go and try this? So you don't come here and waste all your time. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we now bring you up to the investiture. So if you're a member, we'll be able to trace you any day, any time. Okay. I know when you were a member, you, you gave an address, 15 this street at Ojota. So if you have a problem with any producer, or you commit a crime and all of that, whether you like it or not, once an actor has a problem, they'll first of all call the president of the actors' guild. Mm. And it will look very embarrassing if they say, look, we're looking for one LC and we know she's an actress. Mm. And you say, I, I don't know much about her. Since so you that. mentioned talent, is certification required? Uh, not not really, really. But certification helps. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the point? Okay. Mm. Mm. Not really. It's not required. Mm. But it helps. What if I want to be an actress and I, I don't have any certificate, it's just my passion, and maybe I'm not so good at acting, but it's what I want to pursue. Mm. Will you just turn me down? And, that are going to be put in place. No, 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 you, you go through the yeah. training. It is when you have failed all of these necessary examinations that comes along with the background screening that will begin to find a way to advise you. You will have even understood by by the time you go through a three weeks course <laughs> that in, in the class of our 21 persons, you are always the one failing. <laughs> before you come for the advice, you, 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 you have advised yourself. You have encouraged them to also embrace other areas, other areas of the industry. Of the industry. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Behind the scenes. I mean, yeah. people have. Can be oh, okay. So yes. the Actors Guild is not just for actors. It is for actors, but because we're in one family in Hollywood. We would always like to, you know, help other segments grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, when we see how you move and all of that, we can say, oh, this guy can be a customer. Mm. Come, why not try? A lot of people who are actors today, some of them didn't come to act. Some mm -hmm. came with, I want to be a cameraman. Easy. After a certain day, somebody, an actor fails to show up and director looks around <laughs> and says, this guy looks like that guy. Come first. <laughs> wear a cloth, wear a cloth. The guy does it well. He begins to. Before you know it tomorrow, it happens in every that. industry. I mean, yeah. the video did it with that other girl who played that music, that very popular music. I think it was his costumer or his uh, makeup, no, costumer. Mm -hmm. The main artist didn't turn up, and then he used that. It was, it was, it was, it went viral, and, and yeah. she did so well. So, yes, let people learn to embrace other areas of the industry yeah. where you belong. Yeah. All right, so um, I think this is your first television appearance since your health issue came up. You underwent some surgeries um, in 2012, it was hemorrhoid, and yes. um, recently it was anal fistula, and a lot of people gave different quotes to what that was based on their ignorance. But if you read up on these things, you know that this is something that can happen to anybody. So we'd just like you to clear that side of the story because this is your first television appearance since then. Okay. Uh you know, I read some of those comments. I said people are just ignorant about what fistula is and what is not. Fistula is actually a tissue-based sickness. You know, it doesn't concern prolapses of the anorectal veins in any form. But there is hemorrhoids, and of course, which eventually grows to become pile or thereabout. Yes, I did have hemorrhoids, but I had a different uh, 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 attack that made it become fistula. So I was dealing with two different things. Mm -hmm. So as at the time I had the very first surgery with the Indian hospital in Abuja. Uh, it, was, it has grown to become fistula, you know. And then they told me that what they did for me now may likely um, uh, reoccur or 
prolapse at the end of the day, but they didn't know when it could happen, you know. And then four years down the line, I had that prolapse, and then I needed so much amount of money to be able to do the laser surgery in America and all of that. I didn't go public, and, all, and it was when dollar was very high. But few friends just put funds together, and I went for it. Why people knew about it was that a friend of mine who was with me in the clinic, who was to monitor me, I was supposed to wake up, was it in five hours or there about, and I didn't wake up for about 12, 14 hours, and the guy got panicked mm. and called somebody in Nigeria and said, this is my situation now. I came here with my friend for medical, this and that, and the guy hasn't woken up and all of that. And then that person he called just glued and said I was in a coma and different things, and then all that story is followed. But now I'm perfectly okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about um, the actress and actors themselves. How are they, um, are they being supportive of this organization? I mean, this association, sorry. There are some people that will probably be an A-list um, actor and they will tell you they don't want to be part of the association. How do you want to, how do you intend handling that? Would you let them be or what happens? No, like I told you earlier, you know, if you want to change a people, you give them more information. Mm. The truth is this, whether you are an A-list star, there is element of ignorance in every human being, mm. more especially in the areas you do not know about. Significantly in 2011, I was national secretary and I led the team that went to America for the first twining meeting with the Screen Actors Guild of America. My president then, Mr. Sheguari, who was in that team, can I, oh, can I, oh, a whole lot of, about 13 of us, when we went to the office of SAG then, it took us around different departments of SAG. There was a, a place we entered, and they said, this is called the check room of SAG. Mm. That's where they sign the checks for royalties, for residuals, and all of that. Something struck us. We found out that most of the people whose checks were there were people who acted as children, mm. Mm. and they were no longer in the industry as actors. So they had veered into voc different vocation. But they still get residuals and royalties from shows they had done some 15, 20 years back. Wow. I began to prepare a certain inspiration for the Actors Guild. We must get to that point. Mm. Today, what's happening to us here, an actor has acted in over 200 movies, and he's still walking on the road mm. without a car, doesn't have a house, doesn't have a scheme. OK, if you just have 7% of Actors Guild members who are living in VGC, is that success for the, for the industry? Of course not. Mm. Do you understand the point? Yeah. Because why? We have pay TV stations, we have different TV stations who feel that all I need is to buy the content and show the whole world. And the actor who appeared in the content doesn't deserve to be paid. But the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, says that the employers right is different from the employee's right. Mm. So if you buy my content for $2,000, that is because I am the producer of the content. Mm. But the actor in that content must know that I have sold this content for 2000 So he is part of the 2000 I have bought. You have bought. So I should go back and check the people who are supposed to be giving royalties mm. from this product. So if you get every month as an actor, having done all these films in the past and in your films, as TV Africa uh, plus TV Africa shows it, you get a two naira in a month. If you get two two naira from different pay TV stations in one year, you have enough money. Mm. So that's how this ignorance has circulated. And people are now not taking the industry like a career. Mm. They see it like, I'm just using it to feed my daily. And then they are taking advantage do the executive producers understand this part of the business? We don't need to make them understand. We'll just inform them. It's for them to understand when we come. Because mm. very soon we'll begin to apply the necessary global laws. They okay. are there. Mm. Okay. So um, I also heard um, um, Motola Jaladia Kennedy talking about this recently. I think she has an event. Tea Fest, yeah. We're partnering with her. You're partnering yeah. with her. Because she mentioned about the royalties and she said it felt like her own. Um, when she demands it, it looks like she is the one over demanding and so many people in the industry don't understand it. What are the plans to actually push out this awareness for people to understand their rights and why they should, part of, they should be part of the Actors Guild of Nigeria? Yes, that is why we have just uh, finished a collaboration with the Audiovisual Rights Society of Nigeria. Mm. That's the one headed by Memo Dali Balogo. 
because there's a global principle on royalties and residuals. It's not supposed to be asked by an individual, though. Do you understand the point? Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, AVRS is just like uh, what you have with uh, the the Kusan, the other, they are content, they, they ask for rights. Now, with that partnership in place, we begin to scout for where they are using our products, our films, who shows these films, and write them officially. Let them know. Hotels, brothels, buses, airplanes, and all of that. If you are in an airplane and you are seeing certain films, they will tell you that this film has been reduced for this purpose. So they have finished all the payments and all that. Mm. Any film you see on, uh, on board has been settled. Mm. Mm. All the actors in it have collected their royalties through the organizations that did that. Mm. But you know, because our industry started with more people who were ignorant of how the thing works, mm. after some time it expanded beyond comprehension. Mm -hmm. So applying these things, this is when to start applying them because we are losing people. Mm. Our children are interested in this business and when they come, what are you going to tell them? All right, so I think um, this would be coming to you because um, being the PRO, um, what steps will you be taking against copyright infringements? Because I'm going to start with a movie that you starred in, which is Bling Legosians. I saw it in traffic recently, and I was wondering, how did I even get out there already? So what steps would you be taking against copyright infringement? Um, this is where, honestly speaking, the government will have to partner with us because we can't do this by ourselves. Uh, we intend to give, um, intend to form this coalition with them to be able to regulate some of these things. We need to begin to, they need to begin to provide that platform for us to know that when you release a movie, there must be some sort of code. I think, I don't know what they, they yeah. call it, some sort of code. Uh, you would have to stamp on each of these contents before it, you, you, if you, you, once you have that code, there is nowhere on earth you'll be able to have multiple um, um, production yeah. of, of that which is called, um, which is called um, uh, piracy. You, you, there's no way you're going to use this. Where, where, how? You know, so these are the things that this is where uh, he was talking about having to partner with some of these corporate organizations and government agencies to help regulate some of these things. So we'll wait, going forward, we'll have to sign that um, um, deal with them. So probably we'll be going to the Senate to pass a bill for that to be they already, It's oh, already there. It's already there. We we'll just already need there. them, yeah. So we just need to push. Okay, That's so we right. have people who are uh, members of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, such as Desmond Delia, which is which is a member of the House of Representatives yes. in different constituencies. And we have other actors that are also part of the parliament, right? So why are we not working with those people to to make sure that these bills we, are being pushed? We are already. We, are we, we just did that. We just finished the updated constitution for the okay. Actors Guild of Nigeria. Nigeria, and it's on the table of the Senate at the moment, sitting on, sit, they're sitting, and we are waiting for them to give us an answer to that. So. Okay, there are other associations, like you mentioned in the previous um, part, um, you mentioned Tampan. Tampan. Mm -hmm. Is Tampan on the, actor, the Actors Guild of Nigeria? Yeah, I, I want to, uh, Actors Guild of Nigeria is the only association or guild in Nigeria mm -hmm. that is for actors. Okay. When you mention Tampan, you are saying theater, acts. Yeah. Practitioners, they are, most of these associations you know, they bring in both the actor, the director, they are talking about practitioners. Mm -hmm. So when you say AGN, you're talking about only actors. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is globally. Mm -hmm. And we are the only ones affiliated with FIA. Okay. Then with theater arts, that is non mm -hmm. You understand? So any other station, from any angle, if you're an actor in that association and you're not in AGN, then you are lost out. Okay, I'd like I'll, to. Okay. Sorry, um, quickly, because I know our time is going, but I need us to, I need us to touch on um, the NOSC, Nigeria um, Oscar Selection Committee. Um, is the AGN working closely with them? Do you have any say on their selection process <coughs> and the rules and how it works? Because I mean, we just experienced one. Let's not keep repeating it, right? What is um, is there a collaboration with this? No, no, no there shouldn't be, okay. because uh, Oscar is, as far as I am concerned, is a private business. Mm -hmm. You understand? As as an Oscar, mm -hmm. as a brand, mm -hmm. they have their rules of selection. And if you're selecting for them, you must follow those rules. Mm. For us, we do not need to. Our own prayer will be, as AGN, if our member 
uh, has a film selected, we'll use our internal machinery to blow it mm. you know, beyond proportion. Mm. Maybe we'll get contacts with the FIA, with mm. uh, SAG, and say, look, we have an African film from Nigeria that's coming and our members are in it. Mm. We need it to win an award. Well, those are things we can do. But uh, working hand in hand with them, I do not see it as a reality because it doesn't make sense. All right, so I'd like you to wait. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. No, you know, I can Before understand. you do this, though, is Genevieve a member of this association? Of course, yes. Okay. Go ahead, go on now. Okay, so I wanted to ask before she asks that, do you have any other plan apart from what you just said to put the actors, um, Nigerian Act Actors Guild in the international front? Apart we, from the plan you just said now that if um, one of your actor has a movie that needs to get an award, you would call on different contacts that you have. Apart from that, do you have other um, provisions that if for your actors to be at the global so yeah, yes. okay. you know, yeah. with this uh, with this twining relationship with the Screen Actors Guild, we also have a twining relationship with the British Equity. Just like what helped me in the recent issue in Canada was that I had to make contact with the Canadian Actors Guild mm. because all of us belong to that FIA and that's mm. where we meet. In 2020, we'll be going for the global conference okay. taking place in Australia. Now, because of this relationship, it's easy for us. Like we, we do, we do uh, sometimes they call for headshots of some members to star in a film that is being shot in a certain place. Mm -hmm. And we will have, have to engage a private uh, casting company to help us put together uh, headshots of different of our members and we send them. More often than not, they've called us back and said, oh, we're just taking like two persons. Presently, we're working on a deal. Two or three of our members are supposed to be ambassadors for a particular product in America. They mm -hmm. came through the guild system. Mm -hmm. you know, what, having set this out, we are now open because now we've, ha we've set the table rolling. We have to be moving. Mm -hmm. We have to be moving outside here to see that the Actors Guild, we don't slack anymore in any of mm. these things. So there are so many plans on the ground. All right, so I'd like you to weigh in on um, Genevieve's line that's being rejected by the Oscars, saying that um, there was too much English spoken in the movie. So I'd just like you to weigh in on that being the... Yeah, that, that, uh, if I've read it cl closely, it was based on the category where the film was. Mm. They, they, they were trying to say that this category that this film came under was not supposed to be purely all through an English movie. Mm. They needed to be mixed with local language, whichever language you want, whether it's uh, is a outside your Africa. Bible or whatever African. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's a technical thing, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But what it has helped us do now is that by the next Oscar, we are already aware of all of this. Mm -hmm. And then whoever is going to submit films through Netflix, through anywhere, mm -hmm. will know which category. Because these are technical things. You need to really look at them technically to know what and what you are submitting. But before it was submitted, shouldn't someone have done their job by finding out the criteria for such nominations? You may, you may need to find out how the film was nominated in the first place because mm -hmm. I am not private. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You are okay. Um, quickly before we go, social media is, I mean, we're in the digital age, social media, everyone can go online and tweet what they want to tweet and do anything. And there is a question of where does all these associations, let's just focus on AGN, where, where where do the power end when it's time to regulate what their members do online? I mean, you had the case of Toto DK and all that. So, is the personal life on social media part of your business? You, you know, you know. Let me let me take it from this. That is angle. domestic. That's a domestic. Say, okay. uh, even <laughs> though it's domestic, mm -hmm. there are levels at which it will take. Okay. We may be forced to come in mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it's rubbing off on the association negatively. Negatively. Okay. And the moment it happens like that is often misconstrued. Like that's how all, that's how all actors behave. Mm. You understand the point? When such things happen, I personally reach out to the individuals involved. I say, listen, do this, do this, do this. It will help us more. You understand mm. the point? Mm. Huh? But thank God today they are talking about regulating the social media because I don't know about Nigerian own social media. So you want to regulate it? Yes. If you go to America, yeah, you go it's, to I mean, countries, it's, it it's getting, it's getting out of, out of hand. hand. Mm. You have yeah. issues, you go on social so media, media and you and begin to speak no, no, no. something that was already agreed behind social media. So why do you want to you know, make the whole thing look so messy? I mean, no, I mean, it's, so it's, what would okay. you do to an actress or an actor that is involved in such 
No, of course, if, if once it contravenes our law, we yes. have we have measures now. Yes. We, well, don't, we, don't say, we don't say them on TV. We need to go we have a judge. We don't have much time <laughs> anymore. We have to try you first. I don't think okay. we ever yeah. have enough time yeah. in this planning we'll session. Enough time, yeah. And then from that planning session, then they will recommend to the president or the NEC. Mm. So we don't, it's not a TV discussion. Mm. Okay. <laughs> if you want to learn, then go and, go and commit the offense and come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much again for your time. And uh, we've been chatting with the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rulas, and the PRO of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Mona Lisa Chendakuka. Thank you so much. And thank you, as always, go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Bitsu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. And of course, <laughs> the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later. <laughs>